Good morning, everybody. Thank you for joining us today on our Job Nimbus 101 workshop. We are so glad that all of you have joined us today. Today, we're talking about something very special, and that is the best way to work in Job Nimbus, which is with your team. Because you know, sharing is caring. And the best way to work with a team is making sure that everyone has the correct permissions in Job Nimbus that they need to have. I'm Dan. I'm Logan. We're so happy to have you today. Now, to paraphrase Dan, teamwork makes the dream work, but the most important part of any relationship is boundaries. For example, Dan, I love you. You're a wonderful friend and coworker, but I don't want you breaking to my house in the middle of the night to take my popcorn and underwear. <laughs> I don't think that's a problem. <laughs> I sure hope not. Otherwise, we'll have to uh, reevaluate how we do these webinars. <laughs> Now, in Job Nimbus, it is possible for your team members to take your underwear, or at the very least, your leads. <laughs> so we're going to teach you today how to make sure everyone has the right access so they can see what they need to, work with the records they need to, and not accidentally or intentionally mess anything up. Let's get into it. So here we are in Job Nimbus, in our settings. That is exactly where you will find your access profiles. To get there, click on your initials or icon up here, select settings from the profile menu, open the access profiles tab from the left side and Bob's your uncle, here we are. This is where you'll manage all of your access profiles and the permissions that each team member has. Now, our, uh, now the people that have been using Job Nimbus for a while will recognize the top three access profiles, limited access manager and admin. The people who've started using Job Nimbus more recently will recognize the bottom five, sales rep, office manager, owner, sales manager, and production manager. Now, the reason we are moving towards this change is because we are emphasizing that access profiles are role-based. You shouldn't be looking at an access profile or looking at a person on your team and think what permissions in Job Nimbus that specific person should have. Instead, you should be looking at your team members, think what role they cover in your company and what permissions they need in Job Nimbus to fulfill that role. That is the way access profiles and Job Nimbus work. Now, if you're looking at this and you want to edit or maybe even delete any of these access profiles, you can, you can do that. Job Nimbus is completely customizable and allows you to edit the permissions in these access profiles or even delete them if they do not apply to you or your company. To edit a, an access profile, simply come up here to the three dots to, a right, to the right of an access profile and select edit from the drop-down menu or delete. Now we should note that you cannot delete an access profile if it has team members assigned to it. So first you'll need to assign those team members to a new profile, and then you can delete the old profile. Now, after you delete a whole bunch of profiles, you should be creating new ones. To create a new access profile, click on the add access profile button. Here we are inside our access profile. The first thing we need to do is give that profile a name. This profile is gonna be for an office assistant. The next thing we need to do is decide, are we going to be using full or limited access for this particular individual? Now, full access means that you can see all contacts, jobs, and their associated tasks inside Job Nimbus. That means you'll see all of your leads, all of the work that need to be done. And as far as tasks go, that's what populates onto your calendar. So if you have full access, you'll see everyone's schedule on the calendar and everything they have to do. For limited access, you only can see the jobs, contacts, and tasks you are assigned to, or the sales rep of. Or alternatively, if you have groups involved, you can also use the group manager. And we'll talk more about that next week. For an office assistant, we don't want them to only see their own things. That's something we'd probably do with a sales rep or a field manager. So we're gonna set this for full access so the office assistant can see all of the different records inside Job Nimbus. Next, you'll want to give that access profile permissions to the different record types. And that you can do in the record access area. 
Here we have all the different record types that you'll find in Job Nimbus. We have all of our different financial documents. We have documents and company documents. Now, documents are the documents that you build within Job Nimbus using the document builder. You can build these in the contact or the job using a document template or from scratch. To learn more about building document templates or building documents in contacts or jobs files, you can check out our YouTube videos that we have done previously. Company documents is a feature that you enable in your settings and you can access it here in your profile menu under documents. Now these company documents are more universal. You'll, you can only upload documents to your company documents folder. These are documents such as brochures or, or warranties that you wanna upload once and then send out to all of your clients. So for this office assistant, we want them to be able to create and edit documents. They're not going to be creating any financials, so we're just going to quickly give them view access to all of these. And we want them to fully manage the company documents, so they'll be able to create and edit or even delete those company documents. Below record access, we have feature access. Feature access is simple on and off for a variety of functions in Job Nimbus. And we're just gonna go over these one by one because they can get a little bit tricky. The first is the ability to export. So export allows you to come into your reports and choose one of our custom reports on the right-hand side and export that as a CSV or Excel file. This allows you to take a whole lot of documents, a whole lot of contacts, something like that all at once and take it with you for use somewhere else. That can be very useful for an owner or an admin or an office manager, but for an office assistant, that's just dangerous. Importing contacts is kind of the opposite. Instead of taking records from Job Nimbus and making a CSV or Excel file out of them, importing contacts allows you to take a CSV file from somewhere else and upload it to Job Nimbus as a member of contacts. That's something that I might have this office assistant do. Bulk edit, again, relates to our custom reports. It allows you to take a custom report and edit all of the records inside that report all at the same time. That's a pretty powerful and dangerous tool. I'm gonna to leave that just for my office manager. Built-in reports are these reports we have on the left-hand side of our reports section. These allow you to see how your different leads are doing, what your team's up to, or how your jobs are selling. This is something that's great for a sales manager, Office Assistant doesn't need it. We'll come back to private at the end. Account subscription allows someone to see what you're being charged for each individual user in Job Nimbus and change how many users you're paying for. It also gives you access to the emails you get sent each month telling you, hey, your credit card's been charged. Definitely not something we need. Account settings allow you to get into your settings right here. That's definitely not something that we need, so we're not gonna worry about it. If you give someone account settings, they actually can come in and change everything else that they're doing inside Job Nimbus and edit their own access profile. So we're not gonna give that there. Finally, you have the ability to merge documents together or the ability to delete records, including contacts can be given. So we're going to finally mark private attachments and we're gonna save this as our new profile. Now let's go in and look at a contact, Grisella, for a little bit of an explanation on that private note feature. So if we add a note, you'll notice a little button down here at the bottom that says private note. If we mark private access, only people with private access will be able to see that note or change it in any way. This is good for sensitive communication. We can do that same thing in documents or photos when we upload we can mark that as private. This is great for anything that has sensitive information like insurance documents. This is, that's everything you really need to know about Job Nimbus Access Profiles. This will help you control your team and make sure everyone sees exactly what they need to. Remember our tips here are assign access profiles based on the role that you have and make sure that someone has exactly the access they need and especially limit settings access. Thanks so much, everybody. If you've got any questions, you can check out our knowledge base, our YouTube videos, or even call into support and talk to a real live person. 
We'll catch you next week for some more information about access in Job Nimbus, specifically talking about groups. See y'all later.